Hey everybody, JP here. It's Wednesday, June 2nd, approximately 5.30, 6 o'clock, somewhere in there. Anyway, we have another swarm in a crepe myrtle. Uh, they're about maybe eh, 10 feet up in the tree, and uh, they've been here since uh, about 1 in the evening. So uh, I'm going to get up there and try to trim a few little branches and lower them down and uh, have a nucleus hive with me. Five frame deep, we're going to go ahead and, and put them in. So here. Nice. <laughs> you said they were chasing the bird? You no, know, uh, yeah, they kind of come out and buzz around the bird. Yeah. You can see them stinging. Usually swarms are pretty, pretty docile, but uh, we'll see. I'd have to put my jacket on if they go to sting No, you need to go inside then. Oh, you'll, you'll be okay. They look like they could be a little agitated. Spray with a little sugar water. Got some flying in. Yeah, just wet them down with a little sugar water. Sometimes that'll take the edge off of it. thing is once I, once I clip the branches I need to be able to feed them down through this stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. so I might have to trim a little bit of this so I got me a little pocket to feed them through. Okay, I think we're getting there. When did you discover it? One of the kids in the neighborhood came and told me this afternoon. Wow. I'd rather, I'd rather take them out and let a beekeeper have them than Destroy them, you know. Right. I, I, how do you begin to destroy all that? <laughs> you know. Mama? Uh, probably so. Where they acting, you know? Uh -huh. I'd say she's in here. Usually not. I think they like this this box a lot better than the, the tree branch. <laughs> yeah, that you too. Yeah, they're going up from the sides. Yeah. It's a good bit of bees. I think a little more than I, I thought.
No. No, I've never first hand seen it. All right, folks, so uh, they're all situated in this nuke and uh, probably about, uh, I don't know, two and three quarter pound of bees. And um, we're going to leave this box here and come back uh, at dark and pick this one up. Thanks, Annette. <laughs>